to this new update on my DIY remote control projects. As you can see here, in all its glory, you have the custom board, which is finally built by the PCB manufacturer and also partially assembled and then completed by me. Uh, going a little bit into details, as you can see here, you have all the buttons. Some of these are with LED, some are not with LED. Here you have the tray bar and other buttons, arrows. This is the jog wheel and the scrap button. Behind, you have all the connectivities. This is the power input. This is the five volts for the screen, for the display, which we'll see in a moment. Here you have all the, sorry. Here you have all the uh, power supply uh, for the channels here. And here you have all the uh, connectors for transceiver. You are, you are transceiver again for all the uh, uh, channels and for the display. The display is also a novelty. Uh, this is a beautiful 10 inch Nextion intelligent series display. So it's much wider and bigger than uh, the one that was originally um, used. And also the touch mechanism is not anymore the resistive. This is capacitive touch mechanism, which was uh, much better. Uh, I have finally completed some tests on this setup, which is mostly satisfying. We will see in a moment with the usual uh, Cubase uh, project. Unfortunately, there is an issue. Uh, the uh, display, which is much bigger than the 7 inch uh, that was originally there, uh, uh, actually has a, 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 a power sink, which a current sink, sorry, which is much higher than the 7 uh, inch one. And the uh, uh, linear re regulator that you see here that brings the 9 volts to 5 volts needed for the display. Uh, uh, is just uh, uh, a maximum current, uh, managed just as a maximum current 1.5 ampere. And the specification from Nextion on the, um, on the 10 inch is actually 2 ampere. And uh, not because the, uh, uh, the screen absorbed 2 ampere, I have measured and we are around 1 ampere. But it's just because in using it, it has some fluctuation and in fact 1.5 amperes is really at the limit. But I have another problem here, uh, which is that the, uh, I have not very well designed the heat sink pad here for the uh, voltage regulator, uh, which is causing that the temperature rise too much uh, after more or less 10 minutes that the system is up. And you will see it in a moment, the uh, screen starts getting off and then on and then off and on. It is the regulator here, which has a protection uh, for a maximum temperature, I think, of 150 degrees. And when it reaches that temperature, it switches off. That's the reason why you will see in a moment the screen starts fluctuating. So, Given that I, I didn't find uh, another uh, uh, voltage regulator with the same design, with the same package and same uh, uh, lead uh, setup for 2 ampere, I decided to put a small heat sink here. I have just ordered it, it will come tomorrow, to see if I can resolve the problem or at least mitigate it. Of course. Uh, 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 I, I don't like the idea to reproduce and redesign this board. Two boards uh, of this size and pre-assembled at least for all the SMD components that you see here. The chip, the, the voltage regulator, the, uh, all the, the capacitor, all the uh, resistors and the uh, shift registers uh, cost uh, around uh, 150 euros so I mean it's quite costly and I'm, I'm not very well very much uh, um, in favor of redesign and reproduce entirely the you see there you go 
uh, 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 reproducing entirely the board. So I give I will give it a try with its it sync to see if I resolve. In case I will not resolve, I will simply substitute the uh, voltage regulator and I will design uh, uh, the heat sink uh, pad in a different way. You see, uh, to be uh, to be more uh, effective and efficient. But let's see it in movement. Okay, then let's see it in run with Cubase. Let me open the usual Cubase project. There you go. You have here the... And here you have the, the board. Let's open the... This is the default view. Let's open the usual projects. Project is open. There you go. You see on the screen everything is perfectly in run and here you see the board with the this is the read button for the automations uh, this is the loop and this is the stop so let's move let's go in, in, in and there you go everything starts now it is in play stop play let's open EQ for instance here there you go EQ going this is with values there you go let's get back to the pan pot and here you have all the functions with this uh, uh, very good um, uh, LED switch that are working very well uh, um, and are displaying in, in different colors all the functions um, of Cubase. Let's stop. Let's see another thing. This is the scrap. See, you see it here. I move. There you go. With sound. Turning the jog wheel here, and there you go. You can even see it on the display. That's it. Substantially, everything is working. The only thing that is not working yet is the uh, watch, which I have not yet activated. On the board here, you have, as you can see, the battery place. There you go. Now let me move it like this so we can see it better. There you go. This is the battery place, the diode, and that's it. So next step is to try to stabilize uh, the screen, resolving the problem of the overheat of the voltage regulator of the screen, which is now now starting flickering, and so you see it lost all the data because it's starting switching on and off. Uh, uh, and then we will see if if I can stabilize it, and if I can stabilize it, I will start working on the uh, chassis uh, for this part, which I have already partially designed, and I need to uh, to uh, to print and then to assemble. So that's it. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please consider subscribing, hit the bell, and give a thumbs up to the video uh, if you want to support my work. Thank you.